Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. The support recently has been phenomenal. Thank you guys, each and every single one of you watching right now. Thank you for the support. I'm so blessed and thankful to have each and every one of you guys behind me and right next to me along this journey. It's been an amazing one, guys. It's been eight years of consistency with doing this. You know, I'm just so thankful. I'm very excited for today's video and I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. If you guys haven't checked out the last one, it was actually my boat release video for everyone who's been waiting on that. Go check it out, go peep it, I'll leave the link below. But anyways, today, I've never done this before. Actually, I did it one time with Lojo and Norm, but we are at Academy, guys. Look at that, right there. We're at a brand new academy that just opened here in Atlanta, Georgia. I've never really filmed a video here rather than that one with them two. This is exciting. This one just opened up, I want to say, uh, around a month ago. So we're going to go inside. We're going to see what they have. And I think we're going to do like a $25 academy fishing challenge. We're going to get an assortment of baits, go out to some bank fishing areas. If you guys are wondering why I'm not taking the boat out today, it's because I had some problems with it. Um, I just dropped it off at the shop to get some stuff fixed before I head back out of town. But if you guys are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and also slam that like button. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's hop right into it. This is the biggest academy I've ever seen. I've only been in a few. This place is huge. I'm actually pretty impressed. I didn't realize how big the academies actually are. Like if the ones I went to before were like smaller, but this one is huge. So this is one of the sections. As you guys can tell, like a bunch of crappie baits and a bunch of stuff over here. Terminal tackle, weights, hooks, all that good stuff right here. If we walk down here, look at that. I got some kayaks, paddle boards. Look at this right here. All these fishing poles. Look at that lose right there. Oh my gosh. Look at all this stuff they have. Look at this. Is this like normal? Let me know. Look at all the reels. That is insane. Is this like normal for an academy? Let me know in the comment section below because I've never been in many, like I said. But this just seems like a lot to me. Like look at all the rods. Look at this. Look at all of them behind me. And all the reels up front. I didn't realize how big they were. So now we're getting into the aisle of the stuff I usually, this, this is the stuff I like guys, the old bass fishing stuff. But look at all of the tackle, man. So impressed, so impressed academy little soft claps um, so yeah let's go ahead and start looking at some baits and figure out what we want to buy for today's video for the $25 that we're gonna be spending as you guys can tell look at all those jigs man I like it look at this six cent swim jigs got the hybrid jigs you guys know I've been killing them on that you know you see that price right there I can actually hook you guys up with 10% off I'll pop it up on the screen if you use the code on their website but um, where's the one I usually use this one right here that's one of my favorites. You got like a green pumpkin with a blue flake in it. And then also the black and blue one right there. That kills it. We might have to go with the jig today. I love this thing. I love the head shape. Um, I've caught so many big ones this year on that. Look at all the frogs I got. I don't think we're going to be using this today. It's a little chilly. You guys know it's not the summertime or the springtime when I was smoking them on it this past year but uh man they do have a pretty large selection and i'm impressed with that let me know in the comment section below out of all these brands on the wall right here which one is your favorite you got lunker hunt booyah h2o express which is their academy brand let me know in the comment section below out of these right here So boys, in this aisle right here, as you guys can tell, we got a bunch of hard baits. We got some chatter baits, spinner baits on this side. And then we have the whole Academy brand on this side, which we're actually gonna be looking into. Um, but one thing I saw, and, and it just looks so good for this time of year. So this is some of Six Sense's stuff. And one thing I haven't got to try, you guys know I was throwing the Snatch a lot, but I've never thrown the Quake. And let me tell you, that color right there, that's the same color that I had in the top water that hooked me in the thumb. You're the smallest. I got a hook in me. I got a hook in me. I got two hooks in me. This thing looks phenomenal. Like I said, I haven't got to experiment with the Quake yet. I usually throw the Snatch. So I actually really want to try this. And that color is perfect this time of year. Fish chasing bait, chewing up on bait fish, and that should work really good. This is actually going to be $8.99. Like I said, you guys can get a discount if you use my code. I'm not getting it today, but um, I am going to give it a try. I just really want to throw it today if fish are going to be chasing bait. Um, so we're going to add $9 on that $25 challenge right there. First item. So we're going to go with another moving bait right now. I was looking at all these chatter baits and spinner baits. I kind of want to get a bait as one of the Academy brand 
um, like the H2O Express. I kind of want to try it out because I haven't before and I'm going to give my honest opinion on it today as well. So we're going to give that a shot. So I think I'm going to go with this half ounce H2O Express spinnerbait right here. This is white and chartreuse and it's got just two willow leaf blades, one silver, one gold on the end, half ounce, white and chartreuse. We're going to give that a shot. So we got the rattle trap, we got the quake. And then we got the H2O Express spinner bait. Let's keep looking. So if you guys know me, we're gonna have to have a slow moving bait today. One thing is, it was actually a full moon last night. Fishing's gonna be rough, I already know. So we have two moving baits. We're gonna have to get some sort of worm. So I think for today, I'm gonna end up getting either a basic Texas rig, or I'm gonna actually get a shaky head. I haven't really decided yet, but we're gonna probably pick out just a pack of some of these zoom worms just to keep it really basic. Um, I might go with just a standard little green pumpkin worm um where should i go with the sanko what's up what's up <laughs> all right so i think we're actually going to go with some sankos we're going to go with these right here these are the yum dingers and june bug very basic it's going to be three dollars but not only do we need these we're going to need some regular bullet weights and then some ewg hooks so we're going to add this to the pile over here all right, three dollars, four dollars and fifty cents. So that's gonna be seven fifty right there, and then nine dollars. So that's gonna be about seventeen bucks right here. We're gonna keep it very basic. Just a Gamagatsu four eye EWG hooks. Very simple, very basic. Three dollars and fifty cents. That's gonna put us a little over twenty dollars. Now I think we're gonna get us some weights. I think we're gonna end up breaking even, guys, with twenty five dollars. We're actually gonna get up a step closer with the H2O Express tungsten weights. I never use tungsten because, you know, I break off a lot. I break off a good bit. Unless I'm fishing the tournament, I use tungstens. But these are $5.49 for these three right here. These are just gonna be one fourth ounce, three pack. So boys, we did it. We made it out of Academy. I try not to be too loud in there because it was just, it, it was a new place, first of all. It was actually really quiet and I kept meeting people. I probably <laughs> I probably met at six people in there. I was actually in that academy for an hour and 15 minutes. And you guys probably only watched like four minutes of footage right there. Um, I was talking for so long. I love like meeting you guys um, and talking, but sometimes I get like carried away and I just talk a little bit too much. Um, but thank you guys for the support, needless to say. But let's uh, go ahead and go fishing now. I guess that's the time for it. We're gonna tie on all these baits and see if we can catch fish today. Like I said, it was a full moon last night. The fishing's gonna be a little rough. I'm aware of that. Um, but this afternoon bite should probably be the best today. And hopefully we end up catching a big one. So let's jump right into it. It is time for the fishing right now. We just got out to this beautiful lake right here. This place is huge. And um, last time I came here, it seems like there's a lot of big fish in here. And um, so we're gonna try to target them today. I think, you know, one of the first lures I'm gonna start off with is the Quake by Six Cents. By the way, like I said, if you guys want to get 10% off, if you're curious, I got the I got the code. But anyways, we're going to be searching. We're going to start off with some moving baits. We'll throw that for a little bit. <clears throat> um, we might switch up to the spinner bait. You guys know probably one of my favorite baits ar like around the fall fishing time is probably a trap. So that Quake is hopefully going to get it done. I'm hoping to see if we can get them on a moving bait today. Well, let's go ahead and rig up our rods and start casting out here. All right, so let's look and see what we got. So like I said, we got the Quake by Six Cents. That color is so good for this time of year. It just looks so dang good. I'm excited. I usually throw the Snatch, never throw in the Quake yet. Um, we got the Spinner Bait. That's the Academy brand. And then we have some Yum Dingers. We might have to whip these out today. Like I said, I don't know how the fish are gonna react today. So, you know, that might be a thing that we're gonna have to use and that might be an important weapon in our arsenal today. So we're gonna tie this bad boy on to start off with and see where we go from there. Got my Pro TI. I know I have it on my mock crush. I gotta switch out my rods and I need some new line. That's my biggest thing. I've been completely out of line. I've been very busy this week with school. It's finals week and I also have my buddy's wedding this weekend. So it has been just a overall a busy week. That was what I was throwing on Lanier. Um, if you guys are wondering why I have a random yellow spoon on. Let's take this guy out of the package. I cannot wait. I'm hoping that we just hook a absolute fall slaunch today. We got our big bass energy on. You guys already know. Hashtag it below. Hashtag it everywhere on the fishing scene. We're creating a movement here on Kicking Their Bass TV. And look at that bad boy right there. Oh my gosh. Things are good too. Look at that. Boom. All right. We're good. Let's just start casting this out. You guys know I like to start off with a moving bait. And then I, you know, move over to my slow moving bait, especially on a day like today. I'm, I'm curious to see if they'll eat this. So let's go ahead and make sure our drag set. I should be good. Loosen up just a tad. 
perfect. All right, let's get to casting. First things first, I actually wanna wanna hear this thing. God, these hooks, ah, oh, they're sticky. Ooh, listen to that. Okay, come on, baby, do me right. Catch me a slaunch today. That reel cast so smooth with that thing on there. Water is very stained. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my God. Got him. Oh my gosh. We just got out of here. This is a good one. Oh my gosh. Solid two pounder. He hammered the freaking quake. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, that was so good. Oh, you're so cold. Oh my gosh, you're cold. That's the coldest fish I felt all year. And that is a solid two and a half, two and a quarter to two and a half pound bass. Do we like five casts in? This place is actually, I didn't tell you guys, but uh, every time I've came out here, I probably caught like just two to three fish total. Um, like this place is actually very tricky in my opinion to get bites. Um, but usually when you do, they're quality ones. Just like that, this is my first ever quake bass. Look how stout and fat he is. That is a hefty body fish right there. We're gonna get a weight on him and get him back in the water. Boom, let's go. That's a good way to start this $25 first ever Academy Fishing Challenge. Gosh, that's a good fish. Solid too. Let's go. He freaking missed it like five times. He was aggressive. The water is so cold. All right, we got our scale. We got her zeroed out, as you guys can tell. All right, baby, two and a quarter to two and a half. Two and a quarter. 2.5, two pounds, five ounces, just above two and a quarter. Beautiful fish right there. If he had a little more meat on his bones or if he's a little longer, he'd be that two and a half, but cannot complain with a two pounder to start off the day. Beautiful bass like that. Let's get him back in the water and get back out there with that quake. These challenges, I like to try to catch a fish on every single lure, but I haven't even got to throw it much and already got a good one to slam it. We're gonna have to spend some time with that thing. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Let's go, people. Hit that like button to start off the video like that. That'll get your blood pumping. Um, let's just set my scale. Let's turn this guy off. I'll just set you right there for right now. Mm, let's go, people. That gets you all excited, especially in this cold weather. Get your blood pumping real good. All right, people, that was awesome. Right, there ain't nothing better than that right there. Right off the bat, have one tackle it. Missed it like three times. That was so weird. Maybe these fish are a little more active today than I thought, which I wouldn't think after a full moon. But we're around this, it's about two o'clock right now. Usually about this time between, you know, 11.30 to three o'clock after a full moon. From my experience, seems to be the best. What? I had one slam wow he knocked it sideways but usually that 11 o'clock they're actually chasing bait down there holy crap okay this might be this might be dangerous with this dirty water we're gonna have to pick up the spinner bait in a little bit too but man i just i really want to catch him on this thing that was fun Oh, 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 what? Oh, no way, he choked it, he choked it. It's in the back of his throat. That's its freaking another two and a quarter. Oh my God. This is incredible. This is incredible. He ate it head first, look at that. Oh, oh man. You deserve a picture. If you ain't following me on the IG, be sure to do so. Oh, thank God we got our pliers. Holy cow, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. We haven't even been here long. Like I said, this place is tough. So this is just crazy. Look at that one. That one's actually probably two and a half. How thick his body is. He's pretty identical to that last one. Two and a quarter, two and a half, whatever. Whatever you are. Two pounder. Oh, look at him go. Oh my God, he hammered it. I'm, I'm getting so excited, guys, because this just happened so quick and I wasn't expecting it. I really wasn't. I thought it was going to be so bad. Oh, my blood's pumping. Let's keep it going. All right, guys, I got a special guest. Big Steve showed up just out of the blue. And he's ready to do some fishing. Bring Dad back. Hashtag it down below. And uh, hit the like button. Yes, subscribe. sir. Yes, sir. So I already caught 
two uh or three fish that were two and a quarter are ready for the challenge just right off the bat so you're up on me and i'm getting here behind yeah, a little bit. You know what that means. What? Fixing to turn the heat up. <laughs> <laughs> so I saved, so I pretty much caught, the challenge was the spinner bait, the trap, and then the Senkos. But I really think if you take the Senko up there, and the ones that wouldn't bite the moving bait, I think you'll slap them on that, especially in this watercolor with that color on there. But I got- a Texas rig or just throw them wacky? Yeah, I'll do a Texas rig. So just put it on, I, I have tungstens too in there. You're gonna see me come from behind, smoke a trail, throw it in high gear and smoke right past Noah, you see. It's about to happen. All right, boys, we're going to switch over to the spinner bait. This water clarity here is actually perfect for the spinner that, that we bought. I'm actually glad we ended up picking this bad boy up. This is the Academy brand, which I'm actually curious about. So we're going to give it a shot and see if it's going to catch us a big bass. By some of this grass, there's still a little bit of grass. There ain't much. A lot of it's died off. But um, see if there's some fish that are chasing bait up shallow. I mean, I caught that first one pretty shallow, and then that other one right off that like little generator thing. Let's see how this old spinner bait does. We're good. See, I can throw it right up in this corner in that grass. Spinner bait will go through right next to that stuff really good. Gosh! Dude, dude, that fish has the potential to be a three, but he's only a two. Oh my lordy, you are a long fish and you slap that spinner bait so good. Thank you so much. Look at that. This is just, oh. look at that. Barely had him, barely had him. I don't know if them, the hooks are just not sharper. What it is. That's another freaking two. That's two and a half pounder. Mm, he's pushing that two and a half. I don't know if he's quite there. We're going to get a weight. He ain't as similar as the other ones. Those other guys were like twins. See what you weigh, bud. You are. Oh, you're the same as the first. You're so skinny. Look at that. Two five. Literally the same as the first in a total different body frame. He's just so skinny. First one was a dense fish. This one went on a diet about last week. Look at that right there, guys. We have caught three fish that are between I, i'm gonna just say that second one was two and a quarter too we've caught three fish that were two and a quarter that fish is could be a three pounder right there but he's just so skinny and long but that that is oh man they're all quality that is just awesome whoa buddy whoa buddy oh what are you doing <laughs> there he goes darted off gosh he hammered that thing I mean, hammered it. When I set the hook, God, that, that was one of the coolest sounds I've ever done when fishing. Man, what I did with this spinner bait that I can do different than with, you know, the trap is, you know, I threw it on the edge with this big water generator and I slow rolled it right on the edge of that thing. And he was sitting there and he hammered it. I mean, just straight up, just don't. Now I'm done with all you said, all you want